This video clip is followed by class 12, that is introduction to the non-fiber. Now in this class, I am going to brief you on cultivation, harvesting, that is production of linen fiber. See, linen fiber produced from the plant flax, flax plant. See, this preparation of this board screen, this all preparation all these notes is indicating or showing you or presenting you the short brief on production of linen fiber. Okay. See the cotton fiber, how cotton fiber produced from the cotton plant. Okay. Cotton plant is grown in tropical area okay and the fiber produced in the cotton pod that is flower pod produced from the flower and fibers are extracted from the seed that is that is also natural vegetable fiber and this linen also natural vegetable fiber Cotton is a cellulose fiber, linen is a cellulose fiber, but the in cotton fiber extracted from pod, cotton pod, from the seed of the cotton, here the fiber is extracted from the stem or bast of the plant, which plant, flax plant, nowadays in industries the word refer the original word refer flax that is also used in blending to express the blend or the fiber content of the product flax 20% flax 80% cotton like that or 20% linen or 80% cotton or 50% linen, 50% cotton, 50% flax, 50% cotton. What is flax? Why flax and linen? See? Linen, the word derived from the English, Greek. So that is having history. That is not required here. Linen, it is having long history there, line, like a line. Okay. And originally, that linen fiber, say now I will start flax fiber produced from the flax fiber plant. See, just I gave here a picture, just an idea. This is a picture of flax plant. The plant name is, the biological plant name is Linen Eusitatissimum. This is the name of this plant, biological name of the plant. Okay, this plant, these are the flowers are there on the tip of the plant. Here there is a root is there. Here there are the stems are there. Okay, these are the stems and these are the leaves are there. Here the seed part is there, seed producing part. Okay, this is about the simple like plant, vegetable plant. From this, in olden days, or before, before, before prehistoric, that is before 3000 years back, the intelligent man has extracted fiber from the vast stem of this plant. Stem. This is plant. Okay. Is identified and used. Only in the last class I told you the use industrial applications or the clothing applications before first where this linen fiber, flax fiber utilized like that. But now 
the production simple it is it's required a climatic condition of it's not a tropical hot tropical temperature or very hot temperature it's required cool grows best in a cool humid climate the climate should be cool and very humid in condition and whatever the soil is there the soil should be very moist and the thing is the soil the the land should be ploughed ploughed very loose ploughed ploughed soil and humid cool moist soil required to grow this plant usually this production cultivation and harvesting and uh, production grows in european countries poland italy and belgium scotland and so many other countries are the countries are there these are the major countries ireland scotland belgium the countries producing very fine linen fibers okay and what is cultivation this required 100 days from the seed planting see this cultivation see the early told the production of linen fiber is very tedious job though is a linen the after production the finished linen may be a cool or very attractive or cluster and very demand okay but the production is very tedious and it require very careful attention in in both cultivate in farming as well as in spinning or whatever the process is there difficult here cultivation there should be care should be taken in cultivation once the seed is sown in the on the land the time countdown will start that time 100 days time should be taken care once the seed sown on the land and days will be come down for 90 to 100 days once 90 days reached after seed plantation then the time will come for harvesting and also this cultivation this growing of the plant okay this required cool and humid condition if very hot very high temperature very hot um it is a conditional plant the climate should be conditioned so in a year in a 12 months the cultivation the farming of this plant should be planned well planned when seed plantation should be done when harvest harvesting should be done when other processes are done okay this is well planned is required well planned is required so once it is so countdown will start okay so definitely in within 3 months within a 3 months of seed planting it grows 2 to 4 feet of height it grows 2 to 4 feet of height that is 61 to 122 cm just in 3 months okay and also the color of the plant the color of the plant don't think that it is a green well greenery like garden or green plant but usually it's a green vegetable green but the color usually the plant color when growing is and after 3 months it shows like uh, bluish or a white and also the tip of the top three well grown plant is produce the flowers blue flowers the colors are bluish flowers okay and there also stems uh, leaves some bluishness or some white some colors will be there okay if 
the flower produced by the flax plant is a blue then we can think assume that definitely a fine linen flax definitely a fine linen or flax fiber can be taken out it is a symptoms if it is a blue flowers found on the plant definitely the stems the stems having a good long fine fibers available to extract okay this is a hope okay once 90 days completed on 90 days completed then the farmer or flax plant grower will start his planning to harvest he start to work on harvesting so after 90 days slowly the stem the stem color of the stem will turn to yellow the leaves feathers slowly seeds turns brown these are symptoms of changes after 90 days of seed planting changes will occur once these changes will occur then the farmer the producer will work speedily for harvesting immediately he has to work plan then how what is harvesting they are not in cotton harvesting cotton pots are picked picked or picked or plucked okay cotton pots are plucked cottons wet cotton pots are plucked not whole plant but in this case whole plant whole plant is pulled out from the ground it's not like cutting like other agricultural plants sometimes they are cutting the plants left let the roots part is become let it the roots parts in the ground no in this case full plant by hand okay it is pulled out from the ground along with the root part in the time of harvesting see and when when the plant pulled out completely by hand some by hand wherever is the by hand now technology developed but the hand pulling or hand whatever hand process is the whole process that gives very fine and long linen fibers instead of by application of uh, modern technology or machinery technologies okay pulled okay that pulled plant okay that is we call the stacks is t a l k s stacks all plants just pull by hand yes or pulling the plants and bundling bundle making the bundle number of plants say 10 plants together one bundle 20 together like that one systematic a bundle with done tied and bundle okay that bundles are called beads beads is a bundle of stacks number of stacks either okay then after that what will be those bundles are see those are kept for drying these beads or bundles of stacks are ready for fiber extractions ready for fiber extractions but these are all that is brown already it is brown color the whatever is pulled on plant is on that is only turned brown color that now harvesting is over by pulling out the plant and tying and bundle it kept for drying complete drying by keeping complete drying it's not finished the extraction of the linen fibers what will happen what is required still further only kept the bundles of the plants for drying but that stem or stalk this part the stem or stalk that is a woody part that is a woody part inside the fibers will be there 
this is a woody part wood that stuck in wood part inside there is the inner side that is a pectin pectin is that is a one chemical gum gummy substance is pectin all the fibers are holded between the woody stem and pectins gum very tight fibers inside stem how by drying it will not simply the barks of the stem will not open out what is required what is required rotting rotting of the stems are required rotting of the stems are required how to rot make it make it soft let it rot in water or in chemical that process is called rotting process okay before go for rotting process or rotting process there is one more process called rippling there is one more process is called rippling in rippling the whatever the tied bundles of stacks are there huh? that is dried plants are pushed through that is machine rippling machine is there that is having some mechanical means of combing is there in that combing seeds are removed leaves are removed unwanted foreign materials are removed like ginning process in cotton in cotton there is ginning process in ginning fiber seeds fibers are separated from the seed and cleaned separate from the dust and dirt and foreign inputs like that in linen in rippling process in rippling process seeds leaves other foreign materials unwanted materials are removed only as stacks the stem or bast will be there stem will be there that be called stack stem like this no leaf no seed everything only a stem rattan this is taken for rattan rattan process rattan is rattan is full of uh, bundles of fibers are kept in water for a week or two week what for how much it required rattan process so that rattan all this barks are getting softer and then loosened and it's low it lost its the strength and slowly it becomes loose the stem becomes loose okay rotting process okay rotting process is done two ways by water by using of water or by using of chemical in advanced technology man is not ready to wait for long time how many days it will require to rot the cages of many cages of uh, stems woody substance he don't want to wait he don't have patience so he is try to use chemicals within a two days he wants fiber so chemical is used alkali or oxalic acid either alkali or oxalic acid whatever you use he try to he, he he try to reduce the time getting fiber but the thing is but the thing is the chemical use of chemical will we cannot say use of chemical may harm the linen fibers the efficiency of good line fibers is very difficult sometimes by because of the chemical because of some unwanted reactions the fiber linen fiber or flax fiber may lose its strength lose its colors or lose its spinability but it, it may chance is there but in case of water rotting it's no chance it's a natural natural rotting is there inside fiber the fiber inside the stem is always safer okay so rotting is taken place after rotting after rotting so once the producer came to know that oh now hope hope now stems are 
rotted out it's loosened out everything is there so very soft loose open bar form loose form of the stem rotted stem they are putting into the machine squeezing machine so that hydro particles are came out removed out in squeezing squeezing machine then after squeezing after after removing of hard hydro particles water particles kept for drying squeezing drying then later the now also after squeezing drying retting squeezing drying now then also fiber go fibers are there only fibers are mixed with the loose particles again we are another steps how to extract the linen only linen fibers from the unwanted bar parts pieces so other process called breaking breaking process in breaking process all the stacks what unwanted stacks barks whatever other than other than linen flax fiber or linen fiber whatever other is there that is all make into pieces broke into pieces that is called breaking it is called breaking process there unwanted barks stem pieces that is removed then all this total then after breaking though it is breaking because of the quality of the line on flax or linen fiber it's not broke fiber will not broke because it's, it's having net it's a fiber it's a fiber it will not broke but small pieces of unwanted loosened bark steps all these are broken but fiber it says its shape and also another process catching another process catching process is there that removes whatever the broken shards are there that is broken out are not totally completely un- unwanted broken shards are removed and what balance is only the flax fiber balance that is release of the flax fiber all unwanted going there break by the process of breaking and stretching all loosened small pieces are rotted but is going only balance remained will be fiber that is flax fiber okay no flax fiber taken out then after that what is the process fiber taken out dried and linen fiber or flax fiber is what then how to make it linen fiber thread linen thread now it is 